Okay, but you know black, folks. And basically what we're going to show you is the rotation of planets around the sun. And basically the sun is over here to the right, okay? And to give you a damn good example, when we go in on this, basically the sun is in the well, and this is the Van Allen belts coming off of the sun, the magnetical pull that drags Earth and the other planets around. Now I went all the way back to the first, or actually what do I got, the 15th of December of last year, okay? And as you can see, as the time's going through here, we end up with Venus rotating. Now, it's close to the satellite, so it looks large, way larger than Jupiter and everything like that, because Jupiter's a long ways away and everything like that. So what we'll do is we'll pop in on this at like 400, and we'll end up, you get Venus, and it's rotating around the sun. Very good example here when we, the sun is pretty much right here in the well, and then these planets rotate around. We all rotate around the sun, Jupiter, so forth and so on. Uh, I'll pop out, give you a good example of looking at the clock, ticking along at 24 hours, and that's how much Venus is moving with its curvature going around, i.e., got this good example of the sun is in the well, in the hole, okay? Even when I show you in JPL, you know, the sun's in the well, in the hole, okay? This is recent on the 6th. We've been showing you the footage of going and showing you that those planets have to be planets there. Now, the one thing that we really missed back here on the 4th and uh, going back now, retrospect, knowing where we're at and everything like that, we have this planetoid object. We end up more than likely, this could be the planet that we have been seeing that we found up by Jupiter in my footage in the last dozen videos, okay, that showed you that the idea that there's an, another large planet that has a magnetical line that is in our solar system because the sun, i.e., is here in the center of the well of, that's where the sun's at. Now, this isn't all the way on the 6th, but we're going all the way back to December here and the rotations and stuff like that. And as you see, Venus is rotating around, going to go around the sun in its orbit Okay, and it looks close, big, because it's close to the satellite at the time on A here. Okay, and this is a dang good example of A. Now we've got a good example here. We just got, I got the 26 loaded up here, and you can see where Jupiter's at. Now, B is on the other side. You see, it's not Ace, but we've been looking at Ace, even when we're going back all the way to December, and you're seeing the rotation, and then you get a damn good example that we have a planet that's way the hell out here, way past Jupiter, okay? And at that time, you'd have to go back, and I'm not... Okay, so from Ace's viewpoint, we get the prime example of how Venus rotates around counterclockwise around the sun, which is in the well, which is right here. Okay? Boom. Sun. This is pre right now to the 6th, okay? But we're going all the way back to December, and then you see how Venus rotates around the sun. Okay? I.e. from A. Prime example. The well, sun's over here, the magnetical... Van Allen belts. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pull up something like, uh, we'll go like five days, we'll go to the 20th, okay? Now remember, you're positioning, Venus is going around the sun, sun's over here in the white area, it's not even in the shot, and we have that magnetic line, Jupiter's way the hell out past, I mean, this is way the hell out past Jupiter's magnetical, and our prime example, beautiful, is the idea that no matter what, somewhere out here, okay, Jupiter is, and then the factual back here on the we have that even farther out and it's a magnetical line okay so let's go ahead and pull so we're gonna do is basically jump ahead five days real fast and keep on showing them the idea that actual factual if you even get in here you can even see that there's more magneticals and more planets there's like one two three and four and we know the Sun is over here to the right when you're looking from a because earth is right in front of the Sun and then you get these shots way back here and get a great shot. And that's how damn far back that these satellites are, and you can see. And then so then all we got really is Jupiter. So we'll, we'll pop up again five more days, okay? And then see all these magnetical lines up here that are not hooked up, and we'll end up showing you some planets. Now this could be Venus is right here, more than likely. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't really, really matter at this point in time. So we'll go ahead and pop five days again, okay? Pop five days from now, we'll go to the 25th. So Christmas Day 2012, okay, Jupiter and Earth, there you go, and as you see that they were blinking and blinking out whatever the heck is going on over here, remember at the time, I remember if I recall one of my videos, I was like, why the heck are they blinking out, 
Now also, there's going to be in the future, I'm going to be able to show you some stuff from the fours that they're blocking out. Okay? And it's basically a broad band over here. Okay? If you want to go to Sechi, you'll end up seeing it over by Earth. They're blocking something out. Very long band. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and pop to the, t the 30th, okay, because we got the 25th here. 30th of December, last month, okay. All this is for me. Remember, keep in mind that the idea of this lens over here to the right, because this is the well shot of the 14th of January, okay, of this year, okay, and we're back here on December, okay, on the 30th, okay, and then as you notice, basically, it's a very faint magnetic line right here. See that it's still there, okay. And then you don't really have nothing. And remember, remember the video I showed you. Basically, we showed you a planet up by Jupiter from B footage, okay? But from the different, different uh, satellite camera, okay? Now, basically, we'll plop, go another five days, okay? We'll keep five. Okay, here we come down to the footage of the fifth, okay? Then we start seeing the magnetic lines that you can see from other planets that you can end up finding. And I'll find them real fast here for you. And basically it's this one, this planet here for sure is one of them. You go straight up from this and I'll just go up, go over here with my cursor and I'll go up. And it's this planet here and I'll line it up. And then on the next footage when we, go, when we plop five days, I'll go ahead and uh, I got to get down in size. Boom. 125. So I can use the cursor. No, I got to go up in size so I can use the cursor. We'll go to 400, okay, so then we get across, and I'll end up finding that planet, which basically is more than likely that planet there, if I remember right. We'll go up and find that magnetic line, and we'll find it on some other footage, we'll five, pop five days, okay? Now there's another magnetic line, we pop down real fast, you realize that's a planet, it's in our solar system, okay? Then we'll pop over, and I'm going to show you the magnetic line, I'll slide over. There's another magnetic, it's not Earth's magnetic, okay? go here and then we'll come down there's earth's magnetic and we'll come down and basically there's that planet right there okay now it's going to change over time when we keep on going through and everything like that okay so there's two planets we've got okay and we'll pop out real fast here so you see the date and time and we'll plop five days okay there you go and we found that those planets boom and boom okay they're there i've been showing you other shots the last three videos Okay, here's footage from the 10th, and you can see the magnetic line really easy, at least one of them, okay? I'll go ahead and get squared away, and we'll get another. And then there we can see our magnetic line there. Remember, Venus and Jupiter did their turn around. Basically, I can go back again and remind you that the well, okay, the sun's over here. Venus and Jupiter are the shot over this way, okay? And then the, all these magneticals that we keep finding, as we'll go to this footage here, and uh, you've got the 15th, and you can see magnetic line there, okay? And then we'll go ahead and go to what I've got queued up for for the 26. I think I went 10 days. Doesn't matter. We got magnetic lines. Our planets. Okay. We'll bring over, line up our cursor with the frame, and we'll not the faint one first. We'll do this one here solid. Come down, and we'll find that planet because it'll right there. Okay. It's on the magnetic line. As we go up, this is the dark magnetic line there to the right, to the left actually, sorry, and then we'll go to the right, the next one, there's another magnetic line, and there you got the planet right there, okay, as you can see the magnetic line moving to the wall, to the frame of the shot, there's your planet, okay, then we'll go up, and we'll see that there's actually three because we have that faint one there so we'll bring it over and remember all this being that the idea that factual where we're looking at is over here and in the well there is not supposed to, there's not supposed to be anything back there okay and basically you're not going to be able to uh remember we're shooting this is from a okay there's nothing here okay Jupiter and, and everything has already moved out of the way of the shot, and A is shooting you at the Earth just in front of the sun, i.e., with the Earth just in front of the sun. The sun's in the well area over here. Okay? And then basically out here, there's really not supposed to be anything. So, and we're back up at the, the, the magnetic line in the corner. So then I'll come down. This one's kind of hard to see, but it's that planet right there. Okay? Now remember, we have three magnetic lines, we found three planets there. Okay. Can't miss that magnetic line there. It's very faint. 
I can pump it up to 800 real fast. We'll go 888. Customize. 888. Actually, I screwed up. We'll customize this again. Waste a lot of video time here. There we go. I'm going to take time to edit though. Boom. And then we pop over. We'll get up and get the magnetical in the corner. There's our faint magnetical line. We got three magnetical lines there. And we'll go over to the right. There's Earth over there to the right. Okay, so over here, it's just that bounces up to the to the wall of the frame of the shot. As we come down, that planet right there. Okay? So we got three planets, i.e. the three planets that we end up seeing. And remember, if I take you over to JPL, you remember there is nothing back here, okay? Jupiter's already came around the corner, Venus and everything. All the way over here, there's only just Jupiter's back there, and it's already turned and got out of the shot angle, okay? Remember, it's gotten out of the shot angle. It's came around the sun, okay? So we, all we have over there, everything is on the other side. This is blown up out of the well, okay? And we're looking at the well here. The sun's in the well in the hole here, okay? And we've already showed you from all the footage that no matter what you do, that everything's already went around, and then we'll pop this, these three magneticals that we found these planets. Now let me go down with this planet real, because this one's hard to find real, real fast. To the right. There it is, that's the planet. We'll come up to the magnetical on it, and then we'll pop down in size. And we'll, I'm pretty sure I think we were started on, this is the 26 right here, right? Okay. So, these planets are there. You can get in there and look at them. Now, no matter what, for video time, I gotta go in here and show you what we got going on all the way over on the second. Okay, because I found a black star. Now the only other possibility thing that this could be is hanging on. Now remember, our planets are still there and they're moving to the, remember, Earth's going clockwise, counterclockwise, sorry, going around the sun, counterclockwise, remember? Counterclockwise, we go around the sun, counterclockwise, and as you see from the footage here, the magnetic lines are still there. So there's a good possibility that those, they either go hella slow counterclockwise or that they actually go clockwise and everything else in our solar system. Now there is a planet, there is something dark in this shot and let me, I'm going to find it and I'm going to zoom in on it for you. Hang on. Okay, and here's the dark spot that I'm seeing. And basically we're going to pump up real fast, 888. Matter of fact, we'll customize it, 999. Should work okay. And there's our black spot that we're seeing. Check that out. Flipping thing is huge. And I'm going to take pull the magnifier out here real fast too. Now remember, this all matches up. This is all A that we're looking off of. And this is Earth here to the right. I mean, that's Earth, okay? We go up to our black spot. You see that up there? Can't miss it right there. Okay? So I won't be... I'm going to magnify up to it real fast. Okay? And this is the fourth, I believe, I'm shooting from. And there you get a real good view of it. There's the magnifier thing over here a little bit. And we'll keep pumping in on it. Try to move back over to it. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. So there you go. Moving around a little bit too fast. You see... It sure looks like a dark star, doesn't it? It's a remnant or something, and it's huge, and it's hauling ass. And as you can see... As it fluctuates, no one's going to be able to turn around and say that that's a speck on the lens. It's not because it gets bigger and smaller. Okay, so that's no speck on no lens. Okay, now let's zoom all the way out and get a good, and you can't miss it right there. Now this could be, a, there is a slight possibility that, that could be Earth's shadow in the shot. And it could be the same size as Earth, but you get a good example of how, what the size of Earth is in if it possibly is our shadow. I've been watching it for a couple days. I've seen it in some footage. Okay, so we'll pop down here real fast and get myself squared away at what date and time we're at. But remember, no matter what, the sun is over here to the right in the hole in the well. Okay, been showing you that. Boom, sun's in the hole in the well. Boom, this is pop out blue. Everything up to the left over here that you've been seeing, all these planets are planets that they don't know, or they don't at least tell us that are in our solar system. They haven't even been named yet. Remember, uh, Saturn's got 67 moons. There's four of them that I don't think they have named yet because they it's supposed to be 63 moons, okay? 
So now they say there's 67, so there's four more names. Maybe they've already been picked and set or whatever like that. We have a lot more planets in our solar system, i.e. Couldn't have found it without Sechi and Soho.